Good evening, and welcome to another thought-provoking episode of Danger Theater. First up tonight, we follow the searcher. You're out of the shot. Maybe that's where I wanted to be. To Hollywood, where the streets are paved with broken hearts, and every burnt-out light bulb is a dream that never came true. Of all the cases the searcher has tackled, this one may be the most bizarre. So get ready for a sight of Hollywood you've never seen before. Curtain up. It's time for Danger Theater. Meet the legendary Jimmy Jakes and his faithful dummy companion, Farmer Joe, an inseparable team for the past 25 years. Well, Farmer Joe, looks like we've come to the end of another barnyard bonds. We've come to the end, all right, you big fake. Big what? <laughs> looks like Farmer Joe's got just a little rambunctious. Well, bye-bye, kids. Hey, Charlie, hit the theme. Uh-oh. There seems to be trouble brewing in Puppet Paradise. I don't have to put up with this. You're getting out of control, Farmer Joe, you know that. You're like a hangnail in my brain. And I've just had it! You're out of the act, you're fired, so turn in your pitchfork! What are you doing with that pitchfork, Farmer Joe? I was just kidding around. Weak. We can talk about this. No! No! Somebody help me! Please! Someone needs help, so they call me. That's what I do. I help people in trouble. magic happens. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm not a magician. I'm, uh, I'm a ventriloquist. It's just a showbiz term. But you should know that, Jimmy Jakes. Now, let me just get this out of the way. I'm a really big fan of Jimmy Jakes and Farmer Joe's Barnyard Follies. <sighs> By the way, where is the little farmer? Out plowing? The little farmer is trying to kill me. Your dummy is trying to kill you. I see. Farmer Joe is, uh, well, he's, uh, he's a man. Of course he is. If he were a woman, you would have called him Farmer Josephine. You don't seem to get it. He's, he's a little person. I found him 25 years ago in an orphanage. Farmer Joe is a dwarf. So, technically, you found him in a dwarfinage. Excuse me? Nothing. Now, exactly what do you want me to do? Find him! Talk to him, reason with him! If my public finds out about this, I am ruined! Take it easy, Jimmy Jakes. Your little secret is safe with me. You'll be back in your hot tub floating with those naked starlets in no time. What? Never mind. Now, where might I find this pesky puppet? I mean, little person. The soundstage. 
He's hiding someplace on the soundstage. He's waiting for me. He's plotting and he's scheming. You stay here and lock the door behind me. I'll be back. It's tough to watch one of your heroes suffer a nervous breakdown. But I know people, and what Jimmy Jakes needs is a major reality check. Lucy! Fred Neto call. They can't make it tonight, Papa Lucy! <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yeah. My plan is simple. Find the... Clark Gable! Oh, Red. Red. What will become of me? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. He liked me. Well, back to work. Our plan is simple. Find the dummy from Joe. Bring him to Jimmy Jakes and make him accept the fact that his little dummy is really a dummy who loves him. But even more important than that, I've got to find the light switch. This is where the magic really happens. Fabulous chicken. And old Elsie May. How are you, Elsie? And Sally the pig. Looking good. And Farmer Joe. The dummy that's trying to kill poor crazy Jimmy Jakes. Yeah, right. Hello, Farmer Joe. I'm the searcher. This is quite an honor. Hi, Farmer Joe. Hi, Jimmy. How are you? I'm fine. Maybe we should sing now. How does he get the mouth to move? Maybe he puts his hand up here. Ah. You are alive. You bet I'm alive. And I don't care who Jimmy Jenks hires to protect him. He's a dead man. Easy, little fella. <laughs> a lot bigger than you. I don't want to hurt you. Now just drop that hole and we'll talk it over. I'm through talking. Ow. Make me, you big jerk. Whoa! Those hay balers really do the job, don't they? Hello? This is the searcher. I've taken care of our little problem. <sighs> Meet me on the barnyard set now. He's not quite himself. He has a bad case of hay fever. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you do anything crazy, wait a minute. We can work things out. I know we can. No, we can't. You're a cheat. I give you 25 years, and what have I got to show for it? A studio apartment in Burbank? You got that big house in Bel Air? I'll give you the candy. I don't want the key to your stinking lousy Cadillac. It's too late for that. You've been cheating me for 25 years. I trusted you. I give you the best years of my life. Now, you're gonna die. Let me go! Let me go! No. Listen to me, Farmer Joe. You don't want to do this. I've heard everything, and you have been taken advantage of. Who 
are you working for, anyway? I work on the side of right, and I believe you're wrong. That's telling him. Cheap bum wouldn't give me a lousy $10 raise. He'd rather die. This isn't about money. It's more than that. You want your dignity. That's right. Dignity. I'm a real person, just like him. Then you should go on the air tonight and tell the whole world that you're a real live person and not just a dummy. Are you crazy? That would ruin the act forever. He's right. We'd have to give up show business and everything. I can type. He can't do anything. What do you want to do, Farmer Joe? Come to think of it, a few extra bucks in a new house would be fine. I couldn't break the hearts of all those children. You mean you want to let the dream continue? It's up to him. What do you say, Jimmy Jakes? Well, there's a nice house right next door to me up in Bel Air that's for sale. Now that's the Jimmy Jakes I've always believed in. Now, Farmer Joe, carefully release the sickle. to all you kids out there. Stay away from Hollywood. Go to Miami Beach. Or stay right where you are, and we'll take you to the beautiful island of Hawaii and an appointment with murder. Every day, thousands of people come to the tropical isle of Oahu. But they're not all innocent tourists. Meet Vince Haas, bag man for the Castillo family of Miami Beach. Vince is traveling light today. Just an attaché case containing a toothbrush, a razor, and $10 million in counterfeit bills. Hey, can't you see that this John is occupied, you little punk? I'm not a punk. I'm a metalhead. <laughs> You're a deadhead, dude. Many people never leave Hawaii because of its beauty. Others never leave because they have to go to the toilet. Tom, my informant said that Vince Haas was on this flight, carrying $10 million in counterfeit bills for the Castillos. Where we bring all this long way, no? Exactly what I was thinking, Amoki. He may have been tipped that we're here, and he's still on that plane. Let's go in! We're checking the plane! left on this plane. Trust me. With all due respect, stewardess. Dixie. I'm positive there's someone in this laboratory. Come on, okay, break the door down. We're going in. It's unlocked. Wouldn't it be easier just to open it? That would be risky. I'm trying to talk him out. It's us. If I don't hear that toilet flushing in two seconds, we're coming and shooting. Oh, for heaven's sakes, Captain. I told you I could talk about. I've talked a lot of punks out of toilets. Captain, he's dead. He was obviously garroted. He was stabbed, Mike. A contributing factor, Tommy. This was definitely a professional hit. And I'll bet whoever killed him works for that slimeball Joe Tuma. 
Tuma's been at war with the Castillo crime family for years, and now this wolf pack is going to be spreading dirty money all over this island. I can't let that happen. Excuse me, Tommy. Did I die? Have I passed away? No, no, Captain, no. I was, uh, I... We've got to stop this guy. Well, thanks for including Homoki and me. Yes, thank you, Tom. Thank you very, very much. Quiet, Homoki. I'll speak for the both of us. Now, Stuart is... Dixie, have you seen anyone suspicious entering, leaving, or loitering around this laboratory? Well, there was this rock and roll guy with big hair. Good girl. Homoki, seal off the airport. Tommy, call the coroner. I'll just... Uh, I should be... I know. I'll... Uh, Tommy, what do you think I should be doing now? Quick! Setting up a command post, sir? A command post. Good. Good. Let's go, men. Let's catch us a killer with big hair. I was just catching up on some paperwork here at my command post. He's got Tommy, Captain. He's got him. He's got him. Who got Tommy? Slow down, Hamoki. The killer with the big hair got Tommy. And he wants to see you. About what? I understand you wanted to see me. That's right, dude. I want to play gassed up, ready to go on the runway. No pilots, no cops. You got it? Sorry, no can do. It's against department policy to negotiate in a hostage situation. Or something like that. But the cop dies! You're bluffing. Oh, Captain, I don't think he's bluffing. That's because you're inexperienced in matters like this, Tommy. Tell him, Amoki. I don't think he's bluffing either, Captain. Stay out of this, Amoki. I'm telling you! I'm gonna waste him, man. I'm gonna waste him! Go ahead. Shoot. Hi, Captain! You see, Tommy, he was bluffing. Yes, sir. Amoki, I want you to see that this brave senior citizen gets a commendation from the Tropical Punch Unit. You know, the one with the little gold border and the, the Hawaii... Captain, the killer's getting away. I don't mean now. Let's go, man. At this time, no mercy. Come on, let's go! Is it supposed to do this? It's the Moki, sir. We're back on foot. The Moki! Get off carefully. Stop whining, Hamoki. It's him. It's him, okay? Happy? I think I can take him out right now. Oh, back off, Tommy! I don't know why, but I want that scum alive. He's got a story to tell, and I want him to tell it to me. Now, how do I stop him? Hamoki, stop him. Oh, thank you, Captain. This is my favorite part. Hamoki's gonna catch a plane.
my gun. But I dived and rolled. You rolled, sir. While I dived, there was no time to roll. Feel better, McCormick? I'm okay, you were supposed to stop that plane. Sorry, Captain. Sweaty palms. I'll get them now. It's a good thing that plane crashed into that hangar. We got them now, Tom. Put him down, Amoki. I like to look a man in the eye when I talk to him. Well, fly boy with the big hair, was it worth it? You were gonna kill me, you little bug! Take it easy, Tommy. Take it easy. First rule of police work, don't take anything personally. Yeah, right. Listen to the old dude. Old? Amoki, rip his ears off. Captain, internal affairs. You're right. I can't afford another investigation. What did Joe Tuma pay you to ice Vince Haas? What you talking about, man? I'm a musician, okay? I'm in a band. As far as I'm concerned, you're nothing but a two-bit punk killing people for small change. You're gonna be playing slack key guitar in the Hawaii State Prison Band. Take him away, Tommy. I can't stand the sight of him. Oh, Tommy. Hmm? Remember, don't take anything personally. I'm okay now, Captain. Thanks. One little kick in the butt won't hurt. Just don't leave any bruises. <laughs> well, Homoki, old friend, we did it again. We still don't have Joe Tuma, Mike. Why do you have to depress me? We busted a cold-blooded killer. Isn't that enough for one day? Sorry, Captain. It's been a red-letter day. God, I love a good chase. I guess I won't have to go to the gym tonight. This case is closed. A stewardess. A Dixie, Captain. A uh, Dixie it is, Loki. Dixie it is. Well, that wraps up another thrilled pack episode of Tropical Punch. Join us again next week on Danger Theater when our special guest star will be... Marlon Brand. What are you talking about? It's called hype. It's called lying. That's hype. Good night and good luck from Danger Theater. Peace. Next Sunday, catch the outrageous season premiere of Martin on his new night in time, 8, 7 Central. Then Queen Latifah, Kim Coles, Kim Fields, and Erica Alexander star in the series premiere of Living Single. Now stay tuned for In Living Color. Looks like we lost it. Let's go back to headquarters and lie down. <laughs>